All right, here I am on my big long road trip, about 30 something hundred miles into it. And I was out a little earlier, about 30 minutes ago, doing pictures of this LDS temple in Newport Beach, California. And uh, what happened is, uh, you may notice the wetness on the ground. Well, that's what happened when I was out taking pictures. And it was a doozy, and I did not have my umbrella. I now, if, I don't know if I can see, have you see this? I have it attached to the side. It's a big golf umbrella. It can cover the camera just fine. So if there's a downpour, I'm not running back to the car. I'm sticking with it because I can still take great pictures. Uh, it did give me a nice uh, reflection that I was walking back to where I was. I was much further on the grounds. Uh, but usually this blacktop I'm avoiding and I am getting it now. I'm avoiding uh, these little uh, these lines and getting it a little border there. Unfortunate for that little thing right there. Um, I may go try to see if I can get another one with that uh, maybe too close and I may have to switch to the 14 at 24. I actually like this spot right here because now this lamp is away from not on the temple. That one is but it it, it kind of nicely positioned there. And as you can see the stones got all wet, but the little white parts in between did not. So we got an interesting texture on this building. Let's give it a shot. Um, that isn't gonna be too big of a deal. Let's give it a shot. And then I'm gonna go in this area over here. I was trying to light it up earlier because the grass and the trees were kind of dark. And when I first got to the temple, this whole section up above, see there's two section, boom, boom. This was lit up a little bit, and then this wasn't lit up at all, I think because of the city ordinances or the deal when they made the temple is that they would not have it lit up late at night, too bright. Um, so they lit it back up around six o'clock, sunrise about seven something. So I guess that's the deal. They get to lit it, light it back up at six, and I'm not sure what time at night it is uh, not lit up. You'll see that in a lot of uh, big cities as well with some of the big buildings uh, they'll be lit up at uh, sometime at night until you know tourists all go to bed 11 12 o'clock and then they'll turn it back on just for uh, before sunrise and then off at sunrise uh, actually in some of the cities in Europe they don't really even have the buildings lit up in the morning they don't go back on so um, for, I love shooting in the mornings because there's not as many people there in Europe. But um, it's unfortunate that the buildings don't get lit up in the mornings like they do at night. It's different per city, obviously. Um, and then I'm going to go in the, fr in the shoot long ways up the steps, the main entrance. I'll try the other side, but by that time I don't think the lights will still be on. So I need to get at it, take some pictures. I will show you... Uh, the last one of the reflection, if the iPhone can focus, there we are. So that's pretty nice. Uh, so the rainstorm, no need to curse it. Um, it turned out pretty nice for me.